Hello Indie Game fans, I love this time of year since we are in E3 season with showcases of Sonic, Dragon Quest and even Horizon Forbidden West just in the past week, where things will kick off next weekend for indie games, but I'll try to get a little bit of head start with more new trailers for me. Let's begin with the ultra adorable Wonder Lost, an open world crafting survival game that is set in a zombie apocalypse, and while it isn't the most original idea, it does look very polished and of interest. Me being me, I love the pixel art, where things in this game just seem to pop. The crafting and base building elements do look pretty neat. Where the developer has found a clever way of implementing roofing in this, but do expect the must-have elements of chopping trees, hunting wild animals, growing crops, fishing, mining, and crafting. It's an infinite, procedurally generated world, so story might not be the selling point, where the survival systems go beyond fatigue, thirst and hunger, including something called wetness as well as temperature, so it does have additional layers to it. It's currently on Kickstarter with a little bit left to meet its target and plenty of time, so do hop on over to check out the rewards. I'll be the first guy to tell you that I don't really like golf games, but indie developers continue to find ways to impress and get me back in, case in point being the chill, a little golf journey. Yes, while you are playing golf, this is abstracted without a player avatar, where most interestingly, there are secrets to be uncovered. The mini golf like dioramas are a delight as well due to the sheer variety, all rounded off with a wonderful low poly art style. This video is brought to you by the roguelite RPG Tinted Grill Conquest, a fantastic title that I've been keeping an eye on through early access, finally launching in 1.0 two days ago. Yes, it's a deck building roguelite, not unlike your Slay the Spires of the world, but with the reimagining of Arthurian legend in this dark fantasy world and variety in character classes, it is not to be missed. It does have the compelling roguelite loop of unlocking new cards in every run even if you fail, as well as having a village building element that is a form of permanent progression. It did also take a page out of the book of Hades in having a story that gradually unfolds from run to run, so what's not to love in this? If you bounced off titles like the aforementioned Slay the Spire or even Monster Train, I would still recommend that you give this a try. The introductory seconds of the trailer of I Am Fish did remind me of Finding Nemo, where you play as four distinct fishy friends with their own special abilities as they were forcibly separated and want to reunite once again. It looks like a wonderful, light-hearted 3D platformer title and comes to us from Bossa Studios of Surgeon Simulator and I Am Bread fame so the physics adventure is right up their alley. Ooh. 
You might not know this, but while technically independent, this studio is actually quite a large setup with I believe more than 50 people on staff, so the more you know and all that. Even in my wildest fantasies, I couldn't imagine to be the one to lead the Martian settlement. But sometimes, reality is stranger than fiction. So here I am working on the general layout plan for the colony. I mentioned the prologue demo of Farlanders during Indie Gaming this week, but it was launched in conjunction with his Kickstarter campaign, so here it is once again. It's a gorgeous pixel art base builder, where you're the architect of a colony on Mars, having to balance necessities like food and water, power options, colonists, housing, happiness, and so much more. The terraforming system is the most interesting part, where you can use water to irrigate land or to raise mountains to help in power generation, and it's this puzzle-like system that is one of the key features. The maps are procedurally generated, with an extensive research tree, alien Martian artifacts, and even dynamic weather and anomalies, although it does make me question the structure of this, if it's run-based, so to speak, or if there are any story missions. Do check out the campaign, where I do have to disclose that this is a referral link where I may get some monetary compensation. Sweeping views of the Martian canyons, public spaces, and even a park with terrestrial flora. Everything was perfectly balanced. But with a massive dust storm on the horizon, I have to hope I prepared us enough. I have to believe I can lead us through this. And save us all. A neat little multiplayer title of interest that cropped up again recently is Shipped, one that has you captaining a ship, collecting cannonballs, avoiding islands and staying on the screen while trying to be the last one standing. While well, it does look simple, the simplicity is part of the charm, and with 5 game modes available, grab some friends and check this out. If you enjoy the first-person dungeon crawler like Legend of Grimrock, you might have come across the sci-fi equivalent Star Crawlers in 2017, where the team is now seeking crowdfunding for its sequel, Star Crawlers Chimera. It looks like a bigger, better version of the first, where there are three main archetypes in stealth, power, and intellect, where you have everything from thermal grenades to psychonic powers at your disposal. If you enjoyed this very classic genre, it will be a no-brainer to check out, we're at 60% funded as of recording, with plenty of time to go. I mentioned Atro The Dark World in the video in August 2019, so it has been a while, but the developers recently put out an explainer video for this survival automation title, which is a very interesting combination. Welcome to Atrio, The Dark Wild, a survival meets automation game that lets you capture creatures that are trying to kill you and put them into your assembly line. It's got exploration, story, crafting, upgrades, and I love upgrades, and of course, factory building. So you're sent to the surface with the mission to restore Station 3 and relight the world. Explore the dark and gather resources to kick off your assembly line. Springboards will let you jump over grab pipes. Pushbacks will split your resources. Many deer will convert organic materials. And these giant screaming box monsters, well, they're, they're just there to kill you. So maybe avoid those. And maybe build some walls to stop the stampeding pushbacks. And the exploding box monsters. Oh, and don't forget, your factory shut off if you don't have enough energy, so you'll have to manage that as well. You'll be fine. You'll figure it out. And when you do, you can explore the world to discover the story of Station 3. Just remember, don't get caught out in the dark. <laughs> I 
I have an interesting surprise for you with Unfound, a real-time stealth title which seems faster than your average stealth game with one of the sleekest looks and intriguing setups. Play as a deactivated robot who awakens by accident, going about to find his identity, but causes an uprising of clones against the system in the process. I'm not the biggest stealth game person myself, perhaps because I've never come across the correct title, but this game certainly has my attention. I mentioned the legend of Tianting in my most recent video on upcoming action platformers, and the team had a pleasant surprise recently, announcing a partnership with notable indie publisher Neon Doctrine, and with that came a brand new trailer. It takes place in 1909 Taiwan, when it was a colony of Japan, and you play as a legendary folk hero that was akin to Robin Hood. Rob the rich, feed the poor, and expose the corrupting darkness in this super stylish game, where the martial arts focus and the art style certainly adds to the flair. It also helps that it integrates some fantastic comic book-like images into the mix, and does have a variety of gameplay systems, from talismans which grant you different bonuses, to a full-on Taiwanese board game in this, making me really excited taking the number one spot. For more upcoming action platformer titles, check out this video and I will see you after the jump.